And you know, I might make this like a like a segment on my on my chill streams. Mm -hmm. It's uh my admiration and appreciation for Karen's. This is exactly why I love your care lover. This is why I support Karen's. I think they're uh they're what is gonna they're needed to save America. Not all Karen's. No, not all Karen's. Not Absolutely. All Karen's. Not all no, 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 because you guys you guys bastardized the term Karen. I'm talking about what it was created. The reason why Karen was created. Now just, you know, a woman complaining in a shopping uh a, a supermarket is a Karen. They call anybody complaining a Karen. Karen was originally a woman that called the cops on black people. On black people, yeah. Yeah. For the barbecue shit. It was like the pool patty and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. However, my point is that when you look at all those stories, 99.9% .9 of the time, the Karen was actually right. They weren't allowed to do those things. Yeah, but who are you to tell me what I can't do? She, she, live, she lives there. It's a free country. <laughs> she lives there. It's the United States of America, right? Let me I can do what I want. Not, not really. There's still still rules and laws. And there's people that need to uh, be there to point that out. That's all I'm saying. There's rules, laws, and there's mandates, Chris. Exactly. Mandates. So this woman... She goes off and actually makes a good complaint. No, here's the options. So basically she's at the bank and they're they're telling her she has to wear a mask. She's at a to, Wells Fargo. In order to continue. Formerly known as Wachovia. The transaction. Formerly known before no. that is Washington Mutual. Was it Wachovia? It, it was, yes. It was Washington Mutual, mm -hmm. Wachovia, then Wells Fargo. Gotcha. Here's the options. You, I'm not putting cash through the drive-thru or through the drive. I'm not doing it. Not I put checks in the. No, no, I'm not putting cash through the drive-thru. But here's our choices. You let me deposit my money. You've got shields. You can wear your own mask. You can do what you want. It's a non. It's not a mask mandate state. So go get my money. Go get my money. Just start cashing it out. Start Bitch. counting. That's our choices. I'll go to another bank. She said, give me my, I want all 200,000 of my shit. I want it out of there. She was a high roller too. Yeah. Was she? Man, she said she had 200,000 yeah, just she, sitting in the bank. She want to pull it out. She's going to another bank. And she's a lawyer. Taking her businesses elsewhere. The fuck? Right. Karen's do. <laughs> no, I'm not going through the drive. White people should have never let that become a, a bad thing. That shows you how sensitive white people are sometimes. Even on our side. I don't want to be a Karen. White women should be like, yes, I'm a Karen. Fucking proud. Lisa <laughs> Marie. <laughs> Jump in. Say something. Come on. <laughs> Back, Back me, me up. up. Back me up here. Jesus. <laughs> I threw. You can take my cash. You're standing right there. Deposit my cash so help or, go, or go get my money out right now. Go get my money out of the safe. Go look at my account. No, to. cash out my money right now. Do the drive through or unless you want to wear a mask. We have a mask no. right here. Go cash out my money. There's a safe. Go start counting. We're providing you options, ma'am, so you can wear a mask. Your option is to deposit my cash. We're providing you options. Oh. Bitch, no. I'm telling you the option. I want my money. And there's providing people, me the wrong options. There's people that are excited. Like, oh, yes, they're bringing back. Who's excited about it? Do you remember this? I do. Wild time. It was hell. Wild times. It was torture. Uh, so eventually, they do call the police. Yes. And then even the police had the nerve. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, you fucked up when you self escalate. <laughs> when you're like, you, you know what? Do you want me to just get my supervisor? I can just, I can just. Right, I right. Just get my supervisor. <laughs> Usually, you're trying not to get the supervisor yeah, involved. I don't even want to deal with this. Let yeah. me just get soup on here. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. And by the way, I, just the the fact that like you have to deal with this mundane repetitive bullshit that you know isn't even doing anything like it's just it's a virtue signal yep this is a waste of fucking time for everybody involved 
Um, so my understanding is, is that uh, the bank has a policy for masks. That's why they sent the skirt, Chris. Mm. This should be the calls they get. <laughs> they should feel this. Um, are you are you just trying to attend to one of your accounts here? Yes. Okay. Obviously. Um, <laughs> they are willing to help you through the drive through if you don't want to okay, wear a mask so in the on, business. Hold on. Why are you here? What's, hmm. Is there a law that's been broken? Hmm. Well, if their policy here is that you have to wear a mask. Is there a law that's being broken? Well, if they're asking you to leave, then because you're not adhering to their. It's open to the public and I have mm, over $200,000 in the bank here for over 25 years. Okay. So I gave them an option. I said, I'll be happy to leave if they'll walk over there to the safe, pull all my money out and hmm. give it to me. I'll go. There are banks who want my business. So okay. if they'll just pull it all out, I'll happily leave. But if I'm not breaking the law, I don't really need you here. Well, why don't you come step outside with me? We'll we'll talk about it. But huh? it's what? not. This is not a public property. This is a. Business. By the way, that's just a tactic to get them outside of the building. Yeah. Because and it gets into this weird place. This is why the the mandate thing just didn't work. Because it does get into this weird place. Like, well, if they don't, if they refuse the business, but I say, well. I am a customer. I'm not going to leave. I'm going to stay here and just, you know, look through my, look through my phone for a little bit. I am a customer. Yep. Like, are you going to trespass? Because the police are almost like, even like, well, I don't think we could even. You can't do nothing. Trespass. That's why it's important for her to get her outside. Because once she's outside, then the cop can say, oh, no, 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 you can't go back in. They don't want you back in there. And by the way, to trespass somebody, I know this because it's my job. Mm Mm-hmm. To trespass somebody with the you to get the police involved in a trespassing, you have to have justified reason. You can't just trespass somebody because you don't like them. You know what I mean? So there is a weird ground that this really did like fuck. I think it red pilled a lot of people too. Hmm. Business. It's and open if they, to the public. If they it's- ask you to wear a mask inside, you have to adhere to those guidelines. And if they ask you to leave because you're not adhering to those guidelines that they've set. Um, then, then you have okay, to Okay, tell me what that law is. I'm a lawyer, so tell me what that law is. Okay. Would you like me to call a supervisor here? <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Do you want to step outside with me and not... No, go ahead and call him, because I want to know what the law is, because Tennessee does not have a mask mandate. Listen to me. This is a business. I'm, I'm listening, listen. ma'am, and I understand, this is a I understand no, what well, you're saying, listen, but... Listen. This business they, can set their own guidelines as well. But they are operating. They have, are registered with the Secretary of State to operate a business in the state of Tennessee, and they are open to the public of the state of Tennessee that does not have a mask mandate. Okay. So if they don't so, want... It's fine. If they don't want me as a customer, yeah, there's nobody else in there. Like pie. We can stay six feet apart. Okay. Go get my money. Ma'am, I, under, I understand what you're saying as well. Um, I can okay, have him go get my here. money and I'll leave. Okay. Just tell this young man right here to step out. Go with take well, get my money out. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not gonna. Well, they're holding my money. Okay. See, I like that part too. Well, I'm not like I'm not gonna get involved in the bit. Well, you're enforcing their policy though. Right, right. Are right. you employee of the bank? Or are you an employee of the fucking state? It's like that you're, you're totally fine with crossing a line and doing that. But then when you challenge them, oh, no, no, I don't want to. Oh, well, I'm not an employee. I can't tell yeah, them what to do. Yeah, of course. You're telling me what to do, though. <laughs> yeah, because I'm the police. It's fucking tyrants, bro. <laughs> tyrants don't make sense there. It's just do what I do what I tell you. Hey, this lady knows her rights. So. Yeah. Okay. They're holding my money. They're refusing to give me my money. I've asked for it for four to. You know, let me skip ahead to the end. Shout out to the guy who finally said enough. Let's just fucking help her like we should have in the first place. Right, exactly. Like we wasted everybody's time already. It's embarrassing. Right, now it's not gonna play. It was it was ego. The, the, it started with Absolutely. the female cashier who who was obviously a liberal and felt threatened by this lady who didn't have a mask, telling her to put a mask on. And then when, in, instead of seeing that altercation and another female taking over and saying, hey, how, how can I help you? They then pile on this lady. That's not you know, customer I, service. I think, you know how banks go, there's literally like a hostess in the front. Mm-hmm. I think she was the one that met her at the door and told her to put on a mask. She didn't even get to a teller. Oh, okay. Fair no, enough. she had the teller here. In cash through the drive-thru. At the beginning. I think she got to the teller and they told her we can't do anything. I think anything. she's walking. She, I think she came straight through the door. Yeah, because the door's she, right there. Yeah, she didn't even get to the teller. Like, they stopped it right there in the 
You put on a mask before you even get to the God damn. But you, well, I guess like it's such a small thing. The she's a host. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna play again. Fuck me. I guess we could just because the end is funny, but the end is great. What the I know. Fuck? I have to play the end, right? No, here's the options. You, I'm not putting cash through the drive-through or through the drive. I'm not. Now, if you want, I would be more than happy to process your transaction. I was with another customer. I apologize, but we'll take care of you. And and that right there shows you that it was all bullshit. Mm -hmm. It's all bullshit. This isn't hurting anybody. It's for them to finish the transaction. <laughs> had this this guy was out there listening to this. Like, what the fuck are they out there doing? <laughs> we about to lose. $200,000 today because you guys want to be idiots. Because you want to make a political stance. Are you fucking stupid? I hope they got fired. I hope they got fired. They probably didn't, but I hope they did. They probably got a... They probably got I, I understand. I understand the times right now. <laughs> if, Thank you, sir. If they made it in their guidelines as policy, I guess they're just... They're being, pissing on their own policy. Yeah. That shows you their policy is just... It's pointless. But shit, even when I worked at CVS at the height of the shit, it, the, the window said that it was required to come in there with a mask, but we couldn't enforce it. If somebody didn't come in there with a mask, we couldn't say, hey, you got to put this on. I was walking in stores without a mask. They would just yell at you, maybe look at you funny. So, well, Get the death stares. I mean, call the cops. There was a point where they just they, they stopped calling the cops because they were doing it too much and the cops were like, stop fucking calling us. <laughs> we got real shit to handle. Yeah, this is bullshit. <laughs> this is Florida. Oh, I love Florida, man. <laughs> I'll be right back. Thank you, sir. You have a good day now. I love, I love this part, too. Mm -hmm. okay. So, um, if you could just hang tight me outside, I just want to clarify with them. Sure. Why? Why am I hanging tight? <laughs> no, I am I under arrest? No, absolutely not. Okay, okay. I'm leaving. I've got work to do. Okay. Thank you. Fuck off. Thank you. I got work to do, bitch. Fuck off, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> the time for this shit. I'm worth two hundred thousand dollars, bitch. That's funny. That's my fuck you money right there. <laughs> now beat the streets. <laughs> beat the streets. Oh fuck. <laughs> this is my pocket money account. I don't even like Wells Fargo for real. I just had the money over here. <laughs> no, far exactly. I go with my money. Hmm. That's funny. Oh, well, wow. good on her, man. Good oh, on her. Yeah. Good on her. That's a win. That's a W in the column of her life. Yeah, but let's say you had forty-eight dollars in your bank account. You think <laughs> you'd be able to do that stuff? It probably, it probably would be. It probably would be that effective. <laughs> I would have told you to get the fuck out. <laughs> exactly. I owe you another day. <laughs> Do what I got there, sir, sir. Yeah, I was handling another customer, so I wasn't able to tell you to get the fuck get out. The fuck out <laughs> they would have done that thing where he's he's leaning over and he's like flirting with the the teller, and he's like, and then you come up and they look at you and they go, anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking my money out of here. You didn't hear me? Treat like treat you like shit. Sir, shut the fuck they'll be up. like, you're taking your money out of here, here, man. here, you're taking it out of the <laughs> Here, I'll get, I'll spot you. <laughs> fuck out of here. Fucking beat it. <laughs> you're just a tax write-off for us anyway. <laughs> we move your money all the time. You don't even notice it. Your shit majority. <laughs> exactly. Your shit majority in overdraft anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We've been taking uh, 